Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tajendra. And in this exam prep video, we will see how we can configure post commit build hooks into our application and into our build. So let me quickly go to our environment and I have already uh, app, some applications running in my projects. So if I give OC get ports commands, so you can see some ports are already running here, right? So suppose this uh, applications hook application is running there and I wanted to apply some kind of uh, uh, post commit build hook there. Right? Okay, I will also explain something, some related, uh, some information about these hooks as well, why we needed this post commit build hook, okay? But first check, right? How we can check whether any hooks is already applied in our build or not, right? So for it, we can describe the build. OC describe build configuration BC and the name of it, right? Hook. So if we will see, so here in this description, we can find that there is no post commit book as of now has been implemented into the build, right? So how we can implement this post commit build hook? So there are two ways mainly. One is via the command and another via the skips, okay? So if we see both the way and um, uh, why we need them and what is the difference between two, I will also explain. So first let me see the command, okay? So OC set, then build hook, and then the name of our uh, build, which is build configuration and name is hook, okay? Then we need to apply the post commit, okay? So we will have the post commit, and then there are two ways. As I told, first one is the command, okay? And another is the script. Okay, so you can see here. So there are two ways. One is command and one is script, right? So command is kind of any command, any Linux command you can run there, okay? Uh, the command should support the best, okay? And uh, script you can have only where, uh, whenever your base image is uh, supporting the SH, okay? If it is not supporting, then you have to go for the command. So let's apply the command here for this example. Okay, uh, after this, pay attention here, okay? Uh, then there would be two hyphens, okay? And then again, space, and that is needed, right? Uh, these two hyphens and uh, two spaces are needed because this is the separation between the open shift commands and the commands which will be run inside the pod, okay? Inside the pod which will uh, in which our build will be running, right? So that is why this clear separation is required uh, after command, the space and two hyphens and again the space, again the space, right? Then uh, we can write like exec, okay? So we are executing the command. Up now command could be any here, right? Suppose there are some, uh, there may be some um, uh, use cases uh, for this post build uh, hooks, right? One use cases might be that you need to first test your application before the deployment, right? So, so you will give some command here to test the applications. If uh, this uh, command will fail, it means build will fail and application will not be deployed, right? So first use case it could be. Another use case could be your applications want to call a API to get some data and insert something, right? So this you can add here, like in a command, you can have the CURL and can call the API, right? In the scripts also, if you are having some scripts, right? So you can instead of command, you can use the script as well. Third use case might be you might you, uh, once you are running this build, you wanted to notify to your other team members via the email, okay? So you can have used the email command. Maybe you might having the uh, some scripts written on the Python, right? And uh, then suppose uh, something .py uh, file is there, uh, already there in your uh, code package and then you wanted to run that file at a time of post build and you can do that well, right? If suppose if that if that is the case, then uh, you need to give a command like uh, Python, then <laughs> something .py, .py file, right? Once you will execute, 
right? So once you will configure this build and uh, configure this post to commit build hook, then once you will learn that build that this Python uh, script will learn, okay? And this Python command will learn, script will learn, and will do whatever uh, written in, over there in this file, right? Maybe is uh, 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 sending email program might be there, right? So uh, suppose we don't have this Python as well. So for very simple example, suppose we wanted to print something uh, while our program is running, okay? So let me use the echo command and let we want to print hi from Rajendra. Okay. Suppose we wanted to this as a command and we wanted to this uh, configure as a build hook. Okay. So let me run it. Now we can see our build hook has been updated. Now how we can check it? Again, we can describe our build and can see whether this has been configured or not. Right. So here we can see now the yeah, post, uh, post commit hook has been configured. Okay, and it is the exe and uh, the it will run the e echo command and that would be the message should be printed. Okay, so let's see if we will run the uh, run this uh, um, build and whether uh, this uh, uh, post build hook uh, executed or not. Okay, for it, let me start our build OC. Start build and then the uh, build configuration and build name is hook and also let have it run okay and we can see the log as well okay that's why it's hyper f let me give now our build is started running okay so it is getting cloning okay from the github Okay, it will grab all the code, it will build, right? And after this, once the, all this configured, then it will run the post commit build hook, okay? So let's wait for it. So far, all thing is looking good, okay? Here, now, the step you can see, right? Step two to run exe echo, right? So this is our post commit build hook, okay? It is running. And it's run successful because it's also echoed the line which is we have given as the as part of the echo command, right? So everything is looking good here, right? So that is how uh, you can configure the post commit build hook, okay? Two ways, as I told you, one is the command, another is the script. So both way you can use, but there is the limitation with the script is that your base image must have the sh, okay? Otherwise, script will not work. Otherwise, uh, if that base image is having asset, then uh, it is good to use the uh, script, okay? So that's all for this video. Hope you will like it, thanks.